We are at the uh, Desert Twilight here in uh, Mesa, Arizona. This is definitely my first year running here and I'm really excited. I really feel like I'm really able to make a big improvement, especially on a course in a race like this where the competition is just so high and the course is just so flat and fast. So my two team captains, the boys would be Theodore Roundface and then uh, my Kia Vicente Wolf for the girls. She uh, is only a freshman and she's my team captain. So that speaks volumes about her. At the middle school level, she was coming out to uh, work with us during the summertime and her leadership skills are far beyond her years. And that was only as an eighth grader. And then with Theodore Roundface, he's my, uh, my senior leader. For the goals for the season, I do want to become a state champion for our division and uh, hopefully run at NXN. As far as my coach gives us motivation at practice, on the bus, basically everywhere we go, he's always telling us that when it's us racing, it's you versus you out there. And so I think as a team, we just kind of take that in a box. I felt confident, I felt happy, I felt that I was going to do good, and I PR'd by at least two minutes. She's stronger than she gives herself credit for. Anytime that she decides to put her mind to it, she can achieve it. She can do it. Oh, the race, it was, uh, it was a really fun race. Trying to go for a sub-16. Fell a little short of that, but it was a fun race. Oh my god, I was flying throughout the whole race, but I really felt good. It was hard. It was definitely faster than most of our normal races, and it was pretty challenging. We came here to fight. We came here to crawl, scratch, claw, everything, all of the above. We weren't expecting much. We came out here, we knew our competition was going to be stiff, but we came out here and we fought every bit of the race. My name is Curtis Williams. I was born and raised in Oklahoma, and I came to the Land of Enchantment in 1971. Started the program in 1979. First day of practice, I had one boy. And of course, in the hallways, we would uh, walk up and down the hallways and say, man, you look like a fine specimen for a distance runner. And you know what cross country is all about? We would educate them right there in the hallway. Sure enough, we'd start getting numbers out. Now, I set down some hard rules, but going back to 1982 is when our team in the locker room, I wrote on the board, these are your rules. And the first thing I did was talked about tardies, talked about absentees, I talked about grades. We're not gonna have any drugs or alcohol. And I said, we're done, we're gonna have a nice handbook. And I said, you're gonna sign for the handbook, your parents are gonna sign for the handbook. So the athletes control their own destiny by helping set those rules. They actually voted on it. And sure enough, they came up with a handbook that survived from 1982 until the time I left. From 1983 to 2002, 14 boys and 11 girls state titles. But if we didn't win, we came in second. Yeah, we had, uh, on the boys' side, we won uh, 12 in a row, and then the girls won 10 in a row. Of all the schools in the state of New Mexico, we still have the record for the most consecutive state titles for boys and for girls. Having Coach Williams and Coach Hillscott as my previous coaches, it, it set the tempo for a lot of things. Discipline was very, very key. It developed my professionalism from, from that standpoint. Kyle was on my last state championship in 2002. So he is trying to, to revitalize the things he learned and what he observed as being successful to make himself and his team successful. So bringing the discipline right back. I mean, for me in particular, being a uh, retired Marine Corps veteran, just talking to uh, Coach Williams and Coach Scott after they found out I retired, they knew they needed somebody to, to fill that void of what they left behind, and I mean, they they talked me into it. Now, if you thought my bark was loud, his bark just is a little bit louder because he's a past Marine, former Marine. He knows that the trick or the key to being successful in cross country is hard work. He knew that was part of the idea that you teach the bottom runners that they're just as important 
And then if they're not going to bite the heels and the guys in front of them, then what are you trying to do? Is it recreation or is it competition? He's competition. You guys did exactly what we came here to do. PRs. He PR. He PR. He PR. We didn't come out here expecting the works. We didn't come out here expecting to win the meet, did we? We came out here and we expected to battle for this. Once we put it together, we're unstoppable because this is that group that we've been missing. We haven't had this tight group in the past three years, have we? No, we have not. All right? Congratulate each other. Talk to each other. You guys make me proud every single day. Good job, guys. 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 Good